this incredible, unique habitat that we have here of mangroves and dunes. The perfect site for sea turtles. Birds. Manatees. Right next to six million people. The most visited preserve that the Nature Conservancy has in the entire U.S. But we still have a beautiful habitat. And you can really immediately get a sense that it's unlike any other place you've visited. This is a really unique preserve and frankly probably unlike any of our other preserves in Florida. It's tucked away in this highly developed urban area with this amazing rare habitat that has been developed and decimated elsewhere in Florida. It really is an oasis. We've got coastal strand and coastal scrub, which are in Florida imperiled ecosystems. We also have coastal mangrove forests and swamps, beach dune habitat along the ocean shoreline, and we've got tropical maritime hammocks that have big ancient subtropical trees growing in them. Each winter we get about two pairs of osprey that will nest. We get wonderful butterfly diversity. We also get an enormous amount of songbirds. It's also a very important sea turtle nesting beach. We actually have loggerhead turtles, green sea turtles, and leatherback turtles nesting here. We have a dark beach here at Lauren Rock Preserve. We're not developed and lighting is a problem for sea turtles that are nesting. Um, so we found that they predominantly come to our site and nest on our, our preserved beach area. Glowing Rocks Preserve does have a unique sea turtle rescue program, really run by volunteers and by our staff. We patrol the beach every morning and we just look for turtles that might be wedged between the uh, ledges and other things. They want to save any turtle that comes on, on shore, it's only a few a year, but everyone counts. Good job. If you would have come to this place hundreds of years ago, it, you would have come to a pristine coastal barrier island. The biologists for the Nature Conservancy back in the 1980s recognized there was a need to restore those natural systems back to what they originally were. We underwent a 20-year massive habitat restoration where we removed thousands of invasive species from the preserve and replanted native plants back in place. Um, that was thanks to the efforts of thousands of volunteers. So not only were we restoring the landscape, we were engaging the community in learning about why these habitats are important and steps that they can take at home. It has tons of sea turtle nesting throughout February. The community was a big participant in this. Um, they've been a part of the preserve ever since. We offer lecture series and opportunities for schools to come out and do some research and see the wildlife. And then we hope, of course, that the more educated they are about these issues, the more that will influence their own actions and their support for our work. Sea level rise and, and coastal resilience are huge issues for us here in Florida. Part of what the Nature Conservancy is trying to do is educate people on the role that natural habitats can play in helping our communities be more resilient. Things like mangroves and dunes. So this is a perfect place to bring people and talk about the role that that plays in protecting our communities. It's an area that is experiencing issues with sea level rise currently and forecast it to be even worse in the future. We have a high population area right next to us, so we also have opportunities to look at how we can use our coastal habitats and environments to really mitigate some of the effects of sea level rise and climate change that we're starting to experience. If we hadn't protected this place, this place where we have Anastasia limestone with one-of-a-kind vegetation with threatened and endangered species, would be condos or would be houses. Um, those sea turtles that nest here would be looking for another place to nest. There's just been tremendous successes, not to say we're gonna stop here. We intend to continue to build and have more successes here in the future.